hello and welcome back guys welcome back to the channel <laughs> my name is Eunice and I think what you just saw was very clear do I have to explain all right that is smoked fish I've just put it to soak and boil in hot water with some salt this was salt what I added was salt so guys that is smoked fish and I'm going to cook it with Okay, first of all, I don't know the name of this thing in English. So you might excuse me there. But just in case anybody knows it, please have a look. This is what it looks like when it's dry. Uh, please let me know in the comment section what this thing is called in English. Because I totally have no idea. Otherwise, in my language, it is called Oba Okwe. Or even some people call it Okwe. Or some, some people call it Oba. So literally, it's just <laughs> playing around with those three words. Actually, with those two words, yeah? So guys, welcome back once again. And this is my kitchen. I'm going to cook something for you. This is our traditional food. Another traditional food that we have. We have a lot of them. And yes, this is just one of them. So I'm going to show you how this is cooked. And please let me know if you guys have this in your areas. And let me know if there is any similarities in the way you cook it and how we cook it. Otherwise, for us, this, first of all, is not cooked plain. Most people don't cook it plain. Okay. We choose to cook it with either meat or any meat, I could say chicken, beef. Um, but mostly um, smoked beef or something like not fresh meat in other words just like you can notice also from the, um, the fish it's not fresh fish it's smoked and the reason is because it is pasted afterwards and somehow you cannot paste let's say you let's say beef you cannot paste um, maybe fresh beef or fresh fish pasted that's strange at least for beef you can maybe try to play around with peanut butter in it here and there yes for us we do it it might also sound strange for you but for us we do it but with fish mm -mm, i've never had any idea about that so guys welcome back once again let's wait for the fish to steam a bit the reason is i'm going to remove the bones i told you in some video sometime back that when we're cooking fish with anything for us we don't cook it with the bones we always remove out the bones and the only way the easiest way to remove out the bones is when you leave it to boil a bit so that's just what i'm doing guys let's leave it to boil and come back shortly Ooh, just come and have a look at this. The soup looks really nice. Look at this. So the fish is actually ready. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to switch this soup into this pan because it's the same soup that we're going to use for cooking. This other vegetable. By the way, this thing is a vegetable if you didn't know. <laughs> I don't know what it looks like to you, but just know it's a vegetable. How I wish I could access the fresh one and show you. All right, so let's leave this one to cool here. Meanwhile, this is the water now we're going to use. The soup here, we're going to use it for cooking. But since it is not enough, let me just add some more using this cold water. There we go. And right here, this is bicarbonate. You remember how we made it, right? If you didn't watch it, please go back to that video and look for how this was made. We use this for softening food, vegetable, even beans. Most of the foods we cook with this. So I'm just going to put a lid of this. It softens the vegetable, this other vegetable here. Makes it cook really soft. So there we go. Now let's leave this soup or the water to boil before we can show what next. There we go. So all I'm going to do is just, first of all, it's supposed to be broken. So all I'm going to break them just to a desirable size. Because these things, when they enter in water, like when you dip them in water and maybe it boils, there's a way they turn to... I don't know how to say it, but they get larger than how they look when they're dry. I don't know if you've gotten the point. <laughs> you know anything which is dry kind of shrinks. So when it finally soaks in water, it kind of becomes bigger. So that's what I just meant. And that's the reason we choose to break them just a little bit. Not all. Some are actually at a good size. Ah, oh, you know what? I'm actually sw peeling sweet potatoes. So you can see 
there's a it's sticking on my hands you know it <laughs> because i am going to serve this sauce with sweet potatoes so so others choose to eat it with millet bread personally i love it with sweet potatoes yes others also love it with sweet potatoes i'm very very sure about that so let me know how you like yours in the comment section is it with sweet potatoes or with millet bread or you're in that category who have actually never seen these things <laughs> Please let me know if you have never seen this. I know very many of you have actually never seen them. So I don't want to put a lot because the fish is not very big. So let me just wash off the dust. So let's leave this to boil again. Mm. I need to add some little salt. Remember I added salt when I was boiling the fish, so I did not add it here. Now that's the reason I'm adding some little. And we use the same soup from the fish, though we added in some water. So I'm just going to add in some little salt. And I should have actually added the fish before the tomatoes, but because the fish is ready, it might smash like it might, um, I don't know how to say it. I don't want it to turn into some porridge kind of a thing. So I'm going to add the tomatoes. If it gets ready, then I do the fish. Meanwhile, just come and have a look at how the soup is turning, the whitish. So with the mixture of the tomatoes, woo, and you know, I decided to cut the tomatoes really small, tiny pieces like this, so it can get ready fast. So let's just leave this here before we can add in the fish. picking from the ceiling. Take one you Jacket. Okay. I was talking to John. <laughs> so guys, I'm removing the bones off from the fish. Like I told you some time back that we removed the bones off the fish when we are mixing it in any sauce. But let's say this was beef, definitely. I wouldn't remove. <laughs> I'll just leave it like that. Because like I told you earlier on, this vegetable can be cooked even in, like literally in any meat, like I told you, right? Any meat. Alright, so here we are. We are going to add the fish. So you can see how the tomatoes are really, actually they are ready as you can see. Like, it is ready. So I'm just going to do the fish. this away Ooh. just show you this guys look at this see how it looks hmm. Ooh, guess what it is time to paste because this vegetable is ready and this is how you can tell this you can even just see like until it's ready so I am going to paste, but who oh, the aroma is already too much. So let me not waste time. Of course, master speed. <laughs> I told you there is nothing traditional in our kitchen without peanut butter. Hmm? Right now you use, and it's been a while since I cooked for you with peanut butter, so I'm very sure you've missed it. <laughs> okay, you be careful. In fact, let me stand up. 
Ooh, see that color mixture, guys. Oh my goodness, this already looks so beautiful. In fact, you know what? I want to test this thing. <laughs> this is something else. You guys, I, 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 I cannot just wait for it to get like to the final stage. Let that one be cooling. That's. <laughs> I'm going to test it already. So let me just add in the peanut butter. This is how you paste. You don't add in the butter straight into the, into the, into the sauce. You first switch into, into another pan. And then you just add the soup first. Ooh, see how the fish is looking in the middle of everything. And then I told you about this some time back. This is specifically for pasting. Okay. I told you sitting while cooking is not my kind of thing. I think you can notice how I end up bending even if I have a seat right here. Hmm? <laughs> you can now confirm that it's not my kind of thing. I'm not used. It's just something I'm learning from you people. <laughs> because a lot of you have told me in the comment section, so I'm trying to learn, but oh, it's not easy for me. So actually, I cannot put this back on the fire. is good mm -hmm. I'm going to add a little more because of the peanut butter this will do all right meanwhile <laughs> I've not forgotten I kept this to cool and just cooled <laughs> It's so nice, guys. All right. It has mixed well, so I'm going to add in this now. is another thing you guys you just ooh. so I'm going to leave it to warm a bit mm. ooh, I hope I don't end up eating the sauce for me <laughs> I already want more oh my god this thing is so nice And you know how I want to keep testing. <laughs> Yet I've just tested I want more already. And unfortunately the sweet potatoes are not yet ready. So I am just going to add it. I'm just going to put it after this one. And whoo, you know how, how impatient I am? I don't think I'm going to wait. I already want to test my share. I can't lie. Let me get a plate. This as I wait for the sweet potatoes, I'm not yet eating now, I'm just testing. <laughs> Ooh, let it cool there. All right, so I'm just going to switch and put the sweet potatoes on fire. Meanwhile, I'll test this one, of course. You can see how it's looking, guys. Obarokwe. This is called Obarokwe, guys. I told you this earlier on. Start with the fish first. Hmm? <laughs> mm -mm. 
Leave Eunice to enjoy her food. Okay. <laughs> I want to serve more. I won't lie. <laughs> and you know, there's a way I'm hungry. So. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Thank you for watching.